Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are joining me again. Um, I've taken a couple weeks off, just had parent-teacher conferences and just a lot of things going on. So I am back to share with you our very first room transformation. Um, room transformations are a great way to get the kids excited about learning, get yourself excited about teaching. Um, I think it's something that um, we used to do, I mean, I've been teaching for 20 years and this is something that I did, you know, 15, 20 years ago was teaching thematically and it just, you know, revolving everything around one subject, um, one theme. And I used to love to teach that way and you could do so many fun things doing that. So occasionally we like to throw it in. However, we did do it a little bit differently this year. So in the past, it would just be within my room. So I would transform my room into different things. Um, this year, I have two other um, teaching partners and we decided to each do a different room transformation and have the kids switch classes and experience each room transformation. And so we did it for our Halloween fall um, parties uh, before Halloween. So what I transformed my room into was a, bait ca a bat cave my um, one teaching partner did pumpkins and my other did fear factor. And so in the pumpkin room, they got to carve pumpkins. They did estimation. We had been working with estimation and math. Um, in the fear factor, they had different challenges. I know one was like a main idea reading challenge, but so different educational challenges. And when they beat those challenges, then they had different fear factor things to like stick their hand in a box and test that out. In my room, I did a bat STEM activity and um, they had a great day. I didn't love my activity. I'll probably come up with something different next year. It was the first time for us to do this one. Um, and so just not my favorite thing. I will probably keep bats, but just um, do a different thing. We didn't, we kind of planned that last minute. So um, it's okay. It was a good activity. Just a lot of kids not thinking things through. And so there's a lot of flops and stuff like that. So anyway, um, but they still had a great time. And here is a little bit of me setting it up. All right, so when you're doing a room transformation, it doesn't have to be elaborate and expensive. And so probably the thing that set the tone for my room mostly was um, the bat cave sounds. And so going onto YouTube and finding those sounds, just that was free. It just took me 30 seconds of typing it into a search engine and finding that within YouTube. I did put, um, I don't know that I spent um, any money. Oh, I did order some glow-in-the-dark bats from Amazon. However, they shockingly um, did not glow in the dark. Uh, but that was the only thing I think I spent money on. Oh, the other thing I spent money on was I made cookies um, for everybody in fifth grade, all the students. So uh, myself and my best friend helped me. And then I had a parent that helped me make bat cookies. So just, I'll, I'll insert a picture. Um, I'll insert a picture here or here of those bat cookies. So it was just taking um, an Oreo and then splitting another Oreo in half, gluing it together with icing and then adding edible ice. So I did spend some money on um, on that stuff. But as far as decorations go, I did not spend any money. I made 
It took me time to cut bats out of construction paper and to hang them from my ceiling. I did, um, I, I already had some tablecloths that I used. Um, I try and reuse them if possible. And they are just, you know, the cheap dollar ones. Um, so black and orange tablecloths. I cut out bats and then I hung butcher paper up around my room to cancel out some of the whiteness. So over my windows and over my whiteboards. Um, otherwise, that was it. I did set out a couple of decorations that my friend gave me that she doesn't use to decorate anymore. Um, but that was, that was it. The things that I did do, if I had to repurchase like the tablecloths and the streamers, extremely inexpensive. Um, actually the streamers, my teaching partner wasn't using. And so I use those and I hang those from the door for them to walk through. They always think that's so cool. So I really tried to do it in an inexpensive way. I keep everything I possibly can. Like I even keep the butcher paper just because it kills me to just waste paper to put over my windows. So it's already cut to the right size that I need. So next year I'll just unfold it and tape them back up and I'm ready to go. So next year it won't take me nearly as long to set up because I have everything ready. Um, I don't have to make the bath, so forth. Oh, the last thing I did was I took the butcher paper and up on my whiteboard, I traced a large bat and then stuffed it with paper and then uh, stapled it together, glued it together and hung that in the middle of my room. So there was one large bat in the middle of my room. So um, just take a second to check out these clips from our room transformation day. Like I said before, with the other room, they carved pumpkins um, and they also estimated, um, did some estimation activities with the seeds. And then in the other fifth grade room, they did Fear Factor where they had to complete different academic challenges in order to reach into the boxes and feel those different creepy things. Earwax, I think was one. Um, so marshmallows with caramel on them. Um, I know there was one with spaghetti, um, jello may have been the brains, um, different things like that. And they really enjoyed that. So here's just a very small clip from some of those activities.
So that's really all there was to that. Um, it was real easy to take down. I didn't like tape my bats up in any way. I just did it so I could pull them down quickly, um, folded up the paper, and I will be ready to go with that again next year. So an easy one to do. I will come up with a different activity that I think I will enjoy a little bit better. Um, I don't, I don't know what that's going to be, but if you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. And I hope that, that you like and subscribe to this video and I will see you in the next video I post. Thank you for watching.